Oh, hello there. My name's Mr. Evans. Welcome to my station. I do all sorts of things around here. It's my job to make sure everything at the station runs just the way it should, without confusion or delay. But no matter how busy I am, I always find time to read a story about the adventures of my good friend Thomas. And it's about that time now. Would you like to hear the story too? That's great. I'll tell you what, I'll meet you in my office. See you there. Oh, you got here before me. That was quick. Although, I had to stop to pick up some lost property. Lost property is things people leave behind when they travel by train. It goes in our lost property box. That reminds me of a story where Thomas left something important behind. And the story is called Thomas and the Guard. Thomas is very proud of his branch line. He thinks it is the most important part of the whole railway. He has two coaches called Annie and Clarabel. Annie can only take passengers, but Clarabel can take passengers, luggage and the guard. When Thomas starts from a station, he sings, Oh, come along, we're rather late. Oh, come along, we're rather late. And the coaches sing, We're coming along, we're coming along. One day, they had to wait for passengers from Henry's train. It was late. Lots of people with piles of luggage got out of Henry's train and climbed into Annie and Clarabel. At last, the guard waved his flag and blew his whistle. And Thomas started at once. The guard turned round to jump into Clarabel, but he tripped over an old lady's umbrella and fell flat on his face. Oof! By the time he had got up, Thomas, Annie and Clarabel were steaming out of the station. Come along, come along, puffed Thomas. But Clarabel didn't want to come along. I've lost my guard, I've lost my guard, she sobbed. Annie tried to tell Thomas, we haven't a guard, we haven't a guard. But he was hurrying and wouldn't listen. Thomas didn't stop until they came to a signal. What's the matter, said Thomas. I don't know, said his driver. The guard will tell us in a minute. We've left him behind, sobbed Danny and Clarabel together. Everyone looked, and there was the guard running as fast as he could along the line, with his flags in one hand and his whistle in the other. Everybody cheered him. He was very hot, so he sat down and had a drink. I'm very sorry, Mr. Guard, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Thomas. It was the old lady's umbrella. Look, the signal is down. Let's make up for lost time. Annie and Clarabel were so pleased to have their guard again, they sang, as fast as you like, as fast as you like. And they reached the end of the line quicker than ever before. Well, what a great story. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Evans speaking. Mr. Evans speaking. Oh, hello there. A flowery umbrella? Yes, we've got it here. And some gloves. Yes, we've got those too. Yes, of course, you can pick them up any time. Goodbye. Oops. Look, I put my flags in the lost property box. That was silly. If I lose these, then there would be confusion and delay. Thomas's guard had some flags just like these in the story. Green for go and red for stop. I tell you what, I could show you how to make some flags if you like. Come with me. These are the flags we're going to make, a red one and a green one. To make them, you'll need some green and red fabric, two wooden sticks or dowels, some card and scissors, some glue and a brush, a pencil, a tape measure or ruler, and an adult to help you. First, we'll use the card to make a template so that both our flags turn out the same size. I'm measuring a rectangle that's 10 inches by 12 inches, but you can make it any size you want. Ask an adult to cut out the template, then put it on top of the fabric and draw around it to leave a pencil line. Then have an adult cut out the fabric. You can see I'm leaving a bit of space outside the line when I cut. You'll see why in a minute. 
The adult should cut around the fabric on three sides, but leave the fourth edge. This is where the wooden stick will go. Next, we brush fabric glue around the edges of the line. You'll need quite a bit of glue to do this. Now, we carefully fold over the edges of the fabric at the pencil line. That way, both flags will be the same size, and the edges will be nice and tidy. Then, spread glue along the fourth edge. Place the wooden stick on the line, fold the fabric over it, and stick everything down. Make the green flag the same way. And remember, green for go and red for stop. See you next time!